So when you have logos and other vector files, a lot of times you want to save them as an EPS file, which is kind of a vector format that's a little bit more compatible than just an Adobe Illustrator file. So to do that, we need to simply save our document. We're going to go up to File, and I would go down to Save As. And once you're in the Save As window, what you would like to do here is come down to Format and switch it to Illustrator EPS. Now, here, you can use the artboards or not. So if we do not use the artboards, and let me just show you so we can see the artwork still, this little fake logo that we have. We have this logo. If we do not click Use Artboards, then it will just save to the boundary of all of the elements in our document. So if we just have a single element like this logo on this artboard, it will save exactly the size of the logo itself, like a square around it or a rectangle around it. If we have many things in our document, it'll save a rectangle essentially around all of those. Now it's transparent behind it, but I just wanted you to know it'll save your entire document. So if you want to use a specific size like this artboard, then you would want to click use artboards and maybe select which artboard or all of the artboards. Now I'm going to go ahead and save this with use artboards because it will just save that artboard there. Now inside of the save options, you can adjust the version. So there is some versioning if you know you're going to be sending it to someone who has an older illustrator or something you need it more compatible. You can do that. Generally, I just keep it on. Like if you're just saving this now <laughs> in the modern day with all the updates, I would just keep it on the latest version. The preview format is what people are able to see or preview this document as. So you can have none as the format or you can have these two TIFF files. You can also choose whether or not that preview is transparent or opaque. You can embed fonts. You can include the document thumbnails, which is kind of what we were looking at before. And also you have some other options here like CMYK PostScript and RGB files and uh, creating compatible gradient and gradient mesh printing. All of these are kind of advanced features. I would say that you don't have to really worry about any of this right here. You can actually just make sure this top line version is on the latest one and hit OK. So that's going to save down that vector EPS file. And that's how you can save EPS files here in Illustrator.